Today we're talking about Twin B Tyson Puzzle Dama, a launch title for the PS1 developed by Konami and released exclusively in Japan. Conceptually, the game is very simple. It's a competitive color matching puzzle game similar to games like Columns or Puzzle Bobble. Two colored bells drop onto the screen and if you match three of a given color, they disappear. The challenge of the game comes from the fact that there are two types of bell, regular bells and sealed bells. Sealed bells will clog up your screen until you match a set adjacent to them in order to unseal them where they then become regular bells. To add on top of this, whenever you create a combo, the combo bells will be packaged up as sealed bells and sent to your opponent's side to clog up their screen. And equally, when they score a combo, their bells will be sent back to you. It's a back and forth fight to see who can drown the other person first. That's the game. There's some strategy in character selection since the character that you choose to play as affects the formation of how bells drop onto your opponent, and the opponent that you're playing against will have their own method of dropping bells onto you. Dr. Waramon, for example, will push bells up from underneath your play area, whereas Miss Apple drops them in waves over the top. It's a small subtlety that adds some strategic difference to each stage. I tried each character but ended up feeling like Pastel had the best formation, so that's who I played through the game with. There are only 9 stages, but they get hard. It's not just that your opponents get smarter, but the game itself gets faster with each progression until the final fight where your opponent is so quick and so on the ball, and the game is running so fast that you have to pretty much play perfectly in order to win. I don't know if Twinbee is a popular character, I feel like it must be because the Twinbee series has been running since the game Twinbee released in 1985. Before Puzzle Dammer though, I'd only ever met Twinbee in two other games. Pop and Twinbee Rainbow Bell Adventures for the Super Nintendo, which I played when I was a kid, and Parodius, which I played for the first time just last week. It looks like most of the Twinbee games struggled to see any sort of release outside of Japan, but the character and series must have been popular because games were still being made for the series from 1985 all the way up to 2013. The 80s and 90s were the era of mascots and merchandise, so Konami was probably pushing Twinbee to try and dethrone the king of 90s mascots. Zool. Going into this, I didn't know what Twinbee was. I thought he was a unique sentient creature with his own sense of bodily autonomy and being. It turns out that he is that, but also that he's a ship, and this character Light is the pilot who somehow must climb inside of Twinbee and take control of him. It raises some slightly disturbing implications. And maybe that's why Twinbee has gone relatively forgotten in recent years whereas Zool is fondly remembered by all of us. When you think of Konami as developers, who they are and what they went on to do, within a year of this game releasing Swickerden and going on to release probably one of the most beloved PSX games of all time in Metal Gear Solid, Twin B Tyson Puzzle Dama feels like a B-tier project. It's janky, music cuts off awkwardly, there's very minimal content. You get a sense that this was something Konami could whip up quickly for the PS1 launch to cash in on the new console release. There's an intangible thing where you can tell when a game was made with love and care and you can tell when a game was thoughtlessly churned out to cash in on sales and merchandise. And this is the second kind of game. If you've made it this far into the video and you're wondering why I'm talking about a game from 1994, I'm playing through every PS1 game and I'm ranking them as I go. Of the six games I've played so far, Twin B Tyson Puzzle Dama comes in at the bottom of this list. It's just the least interesting of those games. But it is only six games, so we'll see how it holds out. And if you enjoyed this video, there's two things you can do to see more. You can go back and check some of the other videos I've made for this series up until now, or you can subscribe and then I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.